Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right. I'll bring to you another Transformer review. Yay. Love new Transformers. All right. Today I'll be looking at the Make Toys Endgame NTRM-15. This is their Conehead Dirge. Yeah. Man, I've been waiting a long time for these things. My goodness. I thought we were never going to get these because I don't have any Coneheads. So luckily these will be my Coneheads. But do me a big favor before that. Hit me up with some like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. Hit that little bell. It notifies new content. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or on Facebook. It's all in the description. It's easy peasy. So let me squeeze it. And as always, shirt, shirt, shirts for sale. Uh-huh. They're in the description. I got three new ones. Do me a big favor. Check them out. If you like one, buy one. All right. We all need new shirts. Do me a favor, go check out Mr. Terry Wong. He's at Terry's TFF's Club. A wonderful man, awesome guy to deal with, man. Easy site, man, it's easy to navigate, really nice, awesome. He's got everything for you, man. He's got legends, he's got third party, he's got Hasbro, he's got knockoffs. Man, he's got you covered. Transformers galore. Man, free shipping, fast shipping, wonderful man to deal with, man. Tell him Deluxe sent you, he might even give you a virtual hug. All right. Mm, mm, mm. Man, I hope they finish the other two because, man, I don't want to just have one cone head. All right, let me take a look at this fella, get him out, get to know him a little better, transform, all that wonderful stuff. I'll be right back and I'll tell you what I think. Yeah. All right, back from Transformation, and this is Make Toys or Make Toys, whichever you want to call them. This is their in game dirge in his alt mode. And I'd say it is a pretty solid alt mode. I like it. A um, little clear, you know, there's a little issue right here. I think the nose cone of the head or whatever is causing it not to really sit flush with it. Um, it's not too big of a gap, but there's a little gap right there. And I don't have an issue with the mine right here. This right here, it just won't stick. Like it won't stay down like that one. But it's not too terrible. I mean, you know, if you're just looking right at it, you can't even tell that. So you'd have to just notice that when you get yours. But other than that, it's pretty good. Now, it, there are some issues with uh, tolerances and some clearance issues, especially with these wings, they are on sliders. So whenever you have to slide it up, it is slide up against plastic. So just be wary of that. Just be careful. But mostly everything tabs in really good. There's the back from them. It's really solid right this area right here. On top, it's really, it comes together real well. Just be careful, there are some little tabs like right here and there. So there are some small tabs, just be careful. So the crotch piece. This fell off a lot of times. Almost, I got really mad and almost threw it off and was like, man, just forget about it. But it tabbed in really good right there. So very, not too bad. So pretty cool under there. Got nice uh, yellow and red right there. Landing gear. Like I said, just be careful. The landing gear took a little bit to come out. But overall, you know, it is plain kind of Jane. You know, plain Jane. Get it? Plain Jane. Yeah. But uh, I need to put some Decepticon stickers on there because, you know, it's not really have a lot of paint. It's got some nice silver for the cockpit and everything, but other than little two issues, little gap issues, that's uh, basically it. It's really solid uh, plane mode. So yeah, there is the alt mode for in-game, also known as Dirge. All right, there it is next to the G2 Starscream from the TFCon from last year, I think. So. They are next to each other, just a little comparison. Uh, the same mold and everything. So yeah. All right, quick scale comparison. There's a deluxe Siege Starscream. I'm at, I'm sorry, side swipe, and then you got the Lux uh, tracks right there. And we'll throw in a little Legends just to show how big it is. So yeah, there's some scale. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, and some crappy toilet paper. Scale. All right, back from Transformation, there is Endgame, also known as Dirge. So let's take a look what he comes with. So he has these blasters right here, the big, thick ones that, you know, I'll probably keep on everything, but he does come with some null rays, if you want to call them. I don't think they call them null rays for him, but they do come out. You can put the little uh, missile in there for the alt mode and everything. So you get two of those also, and you can, I'll show you later what they look like, but there's that. And you get four new faces. Also with that one, you get, so five in total. So you get a kind of a smirk laughing like, ha, ha, ha. Nicely done. Nice uh, gunmetal gray or gunmetal paint and some uh, red eyes. Very nice. You come with a kind of a 
Hey, I like pudding pops. Kind of a face, you know, with the mouth wide open, with a little open and everything. Nice red eyes. Very nice. You get the uh, kind of a talking kind of, you know, face like that. Pretty cool. Then you get a, ooh, I'm telling mama on you kind of face. I don't know where that's from, but <laughs> that's weird. But, you know, you get that. And then you got the normal resting face right there. So that's pretty cool. Also comes with the um, the wing fillers for Starscream. Or Solar, whatever his name was. I forgot what it was. And you also get these. I don't know what these are. They don't show anything in the instructions what they are. They're kind of like stickers or something. I have no idea. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me what these are. If anybody knows what they are. And everything. So, yeah, that's what he comes with. All right, let's take a look at Endgame. And there's the nice head sculpt, like I said. All you gotta do is lift it up, get your fingernail or get a, a sponger and pop it off and you can change out the faces. I'll show you in a little bit. But nice head sculpt. Got a little gap. I know people are gonna probably sitting on like a ball peg right there. Uh, people are gonna probably say something about that, but there's a little gap right there. But it gives them good range. You can go up all the way, I'm sorry, down. Which, oop, it pops off. It's on a ball joint, be careful. So down. All the way up, side to side, all the way around, then you can get a little add to it also. So not bad. So you got some yellow red paint up there. Come down, you got some nice glossy, I don't know if that's plastic or paint in there for his uh, boobies. Very nice uh, silver for the cockpit. Come on down there. These uh, skirts right here are trash. They pop off a lot. So you are going to do that whenever you're transforming or trying to manipulate it or maneuver it. They are going to pop off. They probably pop off when during the transfer or to the during the articulation also. But nice black paint in there. So very nice. All right, moving on to the arms. I'm going to take these off real quick so I can do the articulation. So they can go all the way up to here. And the nice thing about these, these wings move back, and so do these on the bottom also. So that's pretty cool. So you can get a better range of motion. So you can go all the way around. That's pretty cool. Nice uh, double jointed elbow, very nice. Does have a bicep swivel, the hands. So there's three on a pin by itself and you got the booger picker right there. So that's individually right there and the thumb is uh, stable, it doesn't move at all. And there is that gap right there. I don't think there, I don't think there's anything they really can do to fix that, but there's that gap right there. People had issues with the seekers. Come on down, he does have a waist swivel. Very nice. Move on down. Keep these up right here. So you can move these little, little skirts right here. I know these are going to pop off. I know they are. They're just, ugh. So you can do the Van Damme. Very nice. Does have a nice thigh swivel. Come on down. He does have a nice knee bend. Double knee bend, double joint. Purple, yellow, and red paint right there. Very nice, there's a the landing gear. Like I said, these can move back and forth. You can leave them out like that, or you can leave them back like that, however you want to. Very nice on the feet. So they got a nice ratcheted up and down a little bit. And you have a rocker. Be careful, it's gonna scrape right here with the plastic, so just be aware of that. And so, move it on down. Hey, these didn't pop off at all. Hmm, but they will pop off probably for you. Nicely done on the back. So with the uh, seekers, you know, the nose cone would pop off because it was like on a C-clip. Well, this one's attached, so it won't pop off. You do got the butt flap. You can lift that up to get better articulation. And there's the back. So it brings up pretty good. So very nice. So yeah, that is pretty neato. So that is the articulation and sculpt of uh, Endgame from Make Toys. Oh, I forgot to mention, there he is with the, the kind of null rays. It's kind of a little weak on there. A little boop, 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 boop. But if you get up to there, it'll stay. Not too bad. It's a little loose. This one's looser than this one. This one's more tighter. So that one has a little loosey goosey. Um, he does have like a back ab crunch. So if you want to get some dynamic poses, he does have that. So, and a little gap right there. Not much for the right here between the abdomen and everything with the cat pit. But I got as best I could. I think it looks pretty decent. So he does have a. I don't know if it's a Ford ab crunch or not. I guess you could try to manipulate and give a little bit, but not much. But he does have a back one, so if you want to get him some pretty decent poses. So, yeah, there it is. I also forgot to show the front and the uh, leg kick up here. So, 
you can get up to there you gotta manipulate around the crotch area and then to do the back one you have to lift up the back flap or butt flap whatever and um he'll go all the way back there so decent range of motion for uh for the leg movements sorry about that yep that is the end of articulation for in game all right there they are with the uh make toy seekers Starscream, Sky Warp, and Thundercracker. Just for a little scale of comparison. And there he is with some other MP scale bots. You got Megatron back there, some Optimus Prime, Fans Toys, and everything. So, just a little bit of scale. Crapagonics, a bottle of water, some crappy toilet paper, and squeaks. Duh, for scale. All right, let's talk about Maki Toys, Make Toys, whichever one you want to call it, in game, also known as Dirge. He's a cone head. So the alt mode is solid. Cockpit, you know, it isn't kind of flush. It's a little bit, there's a little gap, but it's not too bad. So, you know, you can overlook that stuff. And the back end of the thruster on mine, it doesn't really sit well on, the, on it either. But you have to really, you know, look at it from behind to even notice it. So it's not too bad. But other than that, it is really solid. He's got a good heft to him. Everything, you know, tabs in real well it's really solid you know around the wing area just be uh wary of the tolerances and the clearance issues for the wings because it will start scraping on plastic and everything so just be you know aware of that but overall overall it's a bland kind of jet you know it needs a decepticon uh, symbol in there and everything but other than that i really like the jet mode it's really uh, really solid so very nice on the old mode transformation is just like the seekers you know it's pretty cool you know it's not bad at all i like it it's you know a fun transformation it's not bad at all uh the crotch pops off it's really you know the crotch area Area is really trash uh, those little things tabs always pop off and everything so just be aware of that but uh, there's some clearance issues like I said on the um, you know the wings and everything just be careful you know other but everything you know tabs in real well and I didn't have any problems so transformation is pretty cool for the sculpting hardware pretty good pretty solid I like it, it has a nice presence to it I like them I love the seeker so I really like the cone head so far um, I like that you can move the wings you know to move out of the way so you can get better articulation for the arms that's a, a smart move and everything and the bottom wings also so that's pretty cool. The head sculpts are really nice. I love the other four that you get with it. You know, the ooh, that's pretty cool. I don't know what it's for, but you know, it's pretty funny. But he has a nice little head sculpt, so I like that. As far as the hardware, you know, the uh, waist things, they, the clips, they kept popping off. That's a shame. That's really, a, uh, it really bothered me. It really got annoying after a while. And my left arm is kind of loose now too, and that really sucks. So, you know, that's a shame. But other than that, the hardware feels pretty good. You know, everything tabs in real well. You know, I didn't think I was gonna break anything. So pretty cool on the hardware. The articulation is pretty good. You can get them in some decent poses and everything. St uh, stuff like the waist gets in the way sometimes whenever you're trying to do a waist swivel and everything. It's just a couple things get in the way, uh, but it's not too terrible at all. Uh, but overall, the articulation is pretty good. I like it. I like the, you got a double elbow and a double knee also, so you can get some pretty good range, you know, in the articulation. So pretty cool on the articulation. The paint overall, you know, not a whole lot, but where it's at, it's put on good. So, you know, it's decent. It's got some decent paint on it. So I wish it had more. Uh, he is kind of bland. You know, he needs some stickers maybe, but other than that, you know, the paint's pretty good. So overall, he's a solid transformer. I really like him. I think he's worth the money. I'm glad I'm getting some cone heads finally. So yeah, I think it's worth the, the buy. You know, I don't have any of the, you know, Masterpiece ones. I was gonna, I skipped on those just, you know, waiting for these and they finally came. So I'm excited that I'm gonna finally get my cone head. So overall, a good job. I like it. It's got some issues and not perfect, but overall it's got, it's a solid transformer. All right, well, I'm gonna get on the floor. I'm gonna do some floor time. Why don't you join me and be my neighbor? All right, all right, all right. All right, well, I'm excited that I'm finally getting some cone heads, and I'm excited that Make Toys is still around. I know they've been having a lot of issues and stuff. You know, their solar flare was, you know, really bad, their sunstorm. And um, a lot of people were getting worried that they weren't gonna get their uh, cone heads, and finally we're getting them, and hopefully we'll get the other two. I'm just, I'm really hoping, because I really just don't want one cone head. But I'm looking forward to Thrust. He's my favorite cone head and everything, so pretty cool. You know, I wish the arm, that really sucks a little bit. It stays up there, but if you start shaking it a lot real hard, it will start falling. That's a shame. But other than that, it's a solid thought. I really like it. There's a lot, you know, they did some, you know, major, not major improvements, but they did some improvements for the, you know, from the Seekers and everything. So really cool. And I'm glad the wings moved back and forth. That's awesome. All right. Do, do, do. What's up, everybody? Hey, Dirge, in game, whatever they want to call you. 
You want some of me, dirt fire? I heard some little sarcasm in your voice. No, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you don't want none of this. I know you don't. Yeah, what you, you want some too, Bruticus, over there? No, I'm good. I'm good. Alpha Bravo comes in. I'll take some. I ain't scared of you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. I'll transform into a helicopter and I'll blade you up and make you use that ooh face all the time so you can go run to your mama or run to Megatron. Man, whatever. I ain't scared of you. Let's go. Ah, push me back in, dirt fire. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Alpha Bravo. Poopy Scooper for the save the day. All right. All right, well, that was my review over the Make Toys, Make Toys, or whatever you want to call them, in game. This is Dirge. Like I said, when, once again, solid bot. I think they're really good. I, I really like them. I'm glad I'm going to get all three of them. So, yay. All right, go hit me with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you like the channel. I really appreciate that. Go hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you thought of the review. Are you getting this guy? Hopefully, y'all will like him as much as I do because I love some Transformers. So, I guess I'll see you on the next... Uh, Hopefully we'll get the other two Make Toys uh, Coneheads review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks. Yeah. I'm a dummy. Look at my gaps. I got mad gaps.